gravitational potential energy is the work you do on an object to get it to a particular height. So if I move this up, I have to give a, get, put a force on it of mg. So I do mg up to some height h, all right? So mg to h, that gives me the amount of work I've, been, I've done. That is its potential energy. I've added that much energy to it because I can get that energy back out. And so gravitational potential energy is mg h. If we look at that in terms of what we're doing, let's talk about the stairs again, where we were going, right? We had our we're force, we have our distance we're going up the stairs, we have our force, right? And we ended up with, oh, this over here, h and d, d is uh, d, whoop, h, let me, H is d cosine theta, so the work done is F times d times cosine theta. It doesn't really matter that we're going up at an angle, and when we get to the very top, what's the total energy we have? When we get to the very top, we have FH. FH is our total work we've done, while F in this case is just what? F is just the weight of whatever you're carrying up the stairs. So MGH. And it doesn't matter that you went up a slope, that you went up some circuitous path, you still get to F, I mean work is MGH. The path does not matter. So with both kinetic and potential, we're path independent.